The president has been talking a lot about TikTok. Are you confused? Do you not know what that means? Uh, well, don't worry. We have you covered. It's Thursday, it's August 6th, and this is The Current Music News. Hi, I'm Jade. And I'm Jay. The social video app TikTok is the buzz of the music world this year. Now, the music world has had previous social media buzzes, but unlike, say, MySpace, TikTok is being drawn into geopolitics. Why? Because it's owned by a Chinese technology conglomerate called ByteDance. That sounds really cute, and it is, but there's nothing cute about cyber warfare and unwanted surveillance. So that's why companies like Wells Fargo are telling employees not to use TikTok on company devices. That's why the entire nation of India has just banned TikTok after border clashes with China. Now, TikTok swears that it's keeping user data private, but authorities around the world are concerned that the Chinese government could make TikTok an offer it can't refuse. Which brings us to the U.S. government basically giving TikTok an ultimatum. Uh, that is, you either sell to a U.S. company, <clears throat> Microsoft, <clears throat> or you uh, risk getting banned. And that's pretty much where things started with Trump saying that he was going to ban TikTok in the U.S. Um, well, that's causing a lot of concern for the music world. And this is where TikTok has become really important. And you might have seen that because, uh, you know, you use TikTok and you hear songs getting a bunch of buzz on TikTok and that's how they blow up. But its influence actually goes a lot deeper than that. So take India, for example. It's a huge music market, but it's a market that has been historically hard for international artists to break into without major label backing. Well, in the last year, thanks to TikTok, just in the last year alone, the number of international artists without major label deals who get hits on the India charts have doubled. Basically, people hear a song on TikTok, they see people dancing to the song, and they don't care where the song came from or who made it. They listen to the song on other streaming services, they follow the artist, they tell their friends, the song turns into a hit. I know this is a bold statement, but there might be no technological development in the history of the recording industry that has swept away the gatekeepers so quickly as TikTok has. And that's just created an enormous opportunity for independent artists. And we're not just talking about artists like Little Nas X, who was basically an unknown before Old Town Road blew up, and that blew up ma mainly on TikTok. Uh, but it's a, a ton of people turning to TikTok to share their music, like Drake. He's already one of the biggest, most famous musicians in the entire world when he made Toosie Slide. And he let that leak uh, via a big influencer on TikTok named Toosie. What happens? The song is number one on the Hot 100. TikTok is also great for artists like Jason Derulo. He's a music star and he's got a lot of personality. Loved him in Cats, right? But he has over 30 million TikTok followers. That means that's, he has enough, that's enough followers that he can make $75,000 a post apparently just through sponsorships. And then on top of that, he can promote his music. So basically, the number one thing you want to do if you have a great song you want to make that song a hit, you give it to an influencer on TikTok who turns it into a cute dance and that spreads virally. It's true whether you're Drake or whether you're Arizona Zervas. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you not familiar with that Marilyn rapper? Uh, yeah, he had a TikTok hit with Roxanne. It became a top 10 hit and he got a major label record deal. Okay, so you're thinking... If TikTok gets banned, can't another app just do the same thing? Well, yeah, Instagram and Snapchat are thinking just along those lines. That's why they are both rolling out features that are designed to imitate TikTok with music licensing so they can use copyrighted songs. Even in the last couple of days, if you're on Instagram, you might have seen a feature called Reels that's available to you now. That's basically Instagram trying to be TikTok. TikTok's super secret weapon, though. 
is its algorithm, which it always is with these apps, right? It's the algorithm that does the trick. So it's got this enormous amount of data. I believe I was listening to the news the other day, and it said basically as soon as you sign on to TikTok, it just takes everything, all of your data, which, you know, however you feel about that. But so they have this, and it makes it crazy addictive for you while you're using it because it knows exactly what you want to watch next. You like this video, you like that video. You like this video, you like that video. And it's learned so quickly what users are into because it has about 800 million active users worldwide. That's a lot of people. So it has this enormous amount of information that it can pull in to use. And so if TikTok is sold to say, Microsoft, uh, that's going to be the big question, right? It's whether they'll actually sell the uh, the algorithm along with it, or if Microsoft is going to have to start from scratch. Yeah. So if TikTok gets sold without the algorithm, it's kind of like if I sold you the Heinz ketchup brand, but I didn't give you the recipe. So you'd have to figure out for yourself what goes in the bottle, except figuring out the TikTok algorithm is like way, 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 way harder than figuring out the ketchup recipe. Well, whatever is next for TikTok, it's going to have huge implications for the music world. So we'll keep following this story. You can like and follow us to be sure to catch updates. Um, and as far as TikTok goes, you could follow me, but I only have one video so far. And it uses a karaoke version of Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid. I have not seen that track climbing up the charts. So I don't know, Jade, I guess it means not everybody on TikTok can be an influencer. Yeah. Uh, I I still haven't watched that one. Sorry, sorry Jay. <laughs> but uh, if you are not the kind of person who really cares that much about the music business, but you're just glad that musicians have a way to get their music out there and have people listen to it without sort of the middleman, this is a great a great app for that. It's a great way for artists to interact and reach a new young audience. Uh, so I guess we're just going to have to kind of wait and see how all this goes. But we're going to leave you with a clip from Kat Burns. That's a UK singer and songwriter who was slogging it out with 5,000 followers on Instagram when she joined TikTok, basically out of boredom, and got half a million followers in just a couple of months. And she said, being on TikTok completely changed my career. My favorite video currently is a duet I did with my mom. It's a really sweet video to me because she's always been my biggest supporter. I'm crazy Cause you don't think I know what you've done Ooh, But when you call me baby I know I'm not the only one The only one and that's it. That's TikTok. This is this is my TikTok dance. <laughs>